Hello, it's Dot Friel. Here's the card I will be showing you how I made for the Art Impressions Watercolor Weekend. Hope you like it. I used my Misty to make the cross work for a beach sign with three signs on it. I inked up the cross in brown ink and then I wiped off the areas where I knew I was going to put two more boards. I turned it upside down so it would look different than the other board that's already there. And, then, and I slanted it a little. And then this one I slanted also going the other way a little. Took me a second there to get my orientation. And then I ink up just that board in the brown. And then I can go in with a brown twin tone and I can fill in the lines that I had wiped out to make my sign. And now it's a pretty good little beach sign with three boards on it. I want to put a seagull on top and I use my positioner so I can put it exactly where I want to put it. And that would be easier than trying to set it up in the misty there. So I just did it that way. So now I'm putting the green 249 on my palette, adding some water, and deciding where I want to make my water line. And right there is where I picked. So now I take some 565 blue and water it down, and I'm putting my sky in. I want to go to the edges of the post-it tape so that I get a good outline border for my whole scene. So now I'm going to use the brush tip of this marker, 992, to actually put my base line of sand in. And it's okay it's darker there because that's where the sand would be a little wet. So it would be darker anyway. I'm just blending it out and going to the edges so I get those good areas that show up when I take the post-it tape off. And now I'm going to use the Molotow, Molotow, however you say it, I for some reason want to say Molotov marker to m mask out the areas I want to stay white so that the waves have those white caps on top. If you haven't seen Georgia Summer's tutorial on YouTube, you should definitely check it out. She gives some great tips that I thought were excellent. And the card she made was absolutely beautiful. So check her out. So now I'm just going to color in my signs and since I only used the brown, I'm going to come in later with some of the 565 blue and I'm going to go over some of these areas and I'll get that more gray look and that better color that you get when you mix those two colors.
So watch this part. I'm such a dork. I'm painting my tape down there at the bottom. But I do stuff like that. What can I say? <laughs> Now here's where I come in with some of the 565 blue and I'm making that little shadow under the boards that would be there. And then I'm just adding it to the sides. Anywhere I want it to be a little darker, maybe look a little more gray or shaded. I don't have much on there either. But I'm subtly building up some color. And I don't want too much color because I do want my words to show that I'm going to write on the boards. Now I'm going to take my 993 yellow pen, which is my favorite yellow, and I'm going to directly draw on the beak and the feet of my seagull. And I should have switched to my number one brush, but I do here in a minute. And I get out the N45 gray, there's my switch, and I get out that N45 gray and darken the wing and the tail of the seagull. And then I get his head a little too dark. So you see me just add some clear water right here and dry it off. That kind of whitens it back up. And I have to put the eye back in, so I use my extra fine tip pen to draw that in. And now I take my 249 on the palette again, and I'm going to finish my water now that my Molotile has had time to dry. So I'm building up color, and now I'm adding a little bit of the 565 blue in there. And as Georgia tells us in her tutorial, how we need to make the, the water a little darker under the white because there would be a shadow under, under the water. So I add the blue in there, and then I think I need to add a little mo bit more throughout. So I add a couple of layers. You'll see I end up not liking the blue so much and going back over it with the 249 green again. Now here's where I want to put a little foliage down at the base of my sign. So I ink it up with the 993 yellow again. And I stamp the grass several times. Now I use my fine tipped pen to write 
on my signs with some arrows. I want that bottom line to show, so I pull some of that yellow out, and then I decide I need to stamp some of that sand color in there. So I ink up the grass in the sand color, and I stamp over the yellow grass. Now I take the little dot flowers and the sand color, so I can make some sand pebbles on the beach. But I didn't have my stamp very clean. Even though I wiped it, it still kind of stained pink at first. But then it sort of becomes more sandy, pebbles looking. Now here's where I prematurely take the post-it tape off. And I probably should have waited till I was completely done. So when you do it, wait till you're done. And I erase my Molotow. And I get out my Wink Stella pen. And I want to smooth the edges of the waves a little bit. So since it has a little watery substance in it, it kind of smooths it out. But I added a little water to my brush there. I dipped it in the water. And you see my sparkle starts coming out better and you can see it. I'm just smoothing away here. Blending the colors a little bit. And I missed a little spot of Molotow there. I even blend out my sandy pebbles with a little bit of the Wink of Stella. Now I'm going to go in with some more 249 on the Wink of Stella brush and kind of smooth out that blue and make it look more green. I think that works out better. So that's it guys. Time to sign it. Cut it out with my, my Art Impressions dies. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you give me a thumbs up. And go to my blog, creationsby.j.blogspot.com for a complete list of supplies I used. Thank you.